Active Health Clinic and today I wanted to speak to you about reactive boomia busting versus controlled boomia busting. And I know that really sounds like the same thing, but it's not. So basically reactive boomium busting is what other people may call pushing and crushing, where basically you're doing a lot and then you're not able to do much at all. Um, you're, you're feeling very lost in your symptoms, you're not really listening to your body, you're just pushing through and everything is very reactive to the situation itself. So sometimes you're trying to pace and maybe unable to manage that or sometimes you just haven't really got a grasp on pacing and that's okay too. Um, basically what pacing is, is being able to forward plan and being able to work alongside your body's needs whilst life gets involved. Okay, so basically controlled booming and busting is the element of forward planning, looking at what's coming up and what might be outside of your capacity or your baseline and trying to add supportive strategies alongside to minimise that post-exertional malaise you might experience afterwards. So one of the most important things about controlling your boom and busting, because as we know, life does get in the way, you will boom and bust and it's not okay, but it's okay. Um, we need to identify our triggers. These can be physical, these can be cognitive, emotional, environmental, they can be a little bit of everything. So firstly, we wanna look at the triggers and in what way they may impact on us. The next thing we wanna look at is how we actually recharge. The way that we're tired um, or the way that where our energy is going is the way that we actually need to recharge. So if you've been physically going all day, then you definitely need to lie down and have a bit of a break. But if you've been sitting in a chair all day doing work and on a computer, you might need to go do some stretches or a little bit of a walk or sit outside and just get some fresh air. So it's really important to identify in, what, in which way you're tired or what, what elements or what triggers you're exposed to so you can compensate and allow for those recharging mechanisms to help you get through that activity better to minimise how crappy you may feel afterwards. So the difference between the two is that reactive boomium and busting is exactly that. It's reactive, it's really hard to control, it's really hard to get ourselves out of that vicious cycle. Sometimes we tend to do it and then just keep going. Um, so we wanna sort of avoid that to the best of our ability. We wanna go across to forward planning and hopefully you may have seen our video that Nathan did on forward planning. It's an exceptional um, tool for pacing to minimize how reactive you are and how symptomatic you are. Other strategies might be your types of fatigue, your traffic lights and the overall principles of pacing, which is another video that we have um, on our YouTube channel. The important idea is that we are taking control to the very best of our ability so that we're working alongside our, bit, our body um, rather than trying to push through and the chaos that comes from that. So I invite you today to have a look at the next few weeks and have a look at where you might be likely to be booming and busting and what strategies you can put alongside so that you're minimizing the response you may have, that post-exertional malaise you might experience and forward plan, work around those triggers and come up with strategies that help you ahead of time. Because when you're feeling crappy, you're not going to be able to come up with solutions. You are going to survive and get through and just allow time to pass before you're feeling okay to then take the next step. So sometimes it's about being prepared to feel crappy and having those solutions ahead of time to help you in that time. So have a look at what you could be doing more proactively and more controlled rather than reactively um, to better your health and to better manage these conditions that you might be experiencing. There is plenty more videos on our YouTube channel, so I invite you to subscribe. I've mentioned about four of them in this video, so go across and have a look at them. There's also more videos in our Active Health Clinic Wellness Tribe, where us as clinicians are very active to teach you how to listen to your body better. So I hope that helps, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.